Hello, YouTube. I'm David with the David West Channel. Well, it's 9 a.m. in the morning, and the neighborhood seems to be good and quiet. Let's do something that's going to take about 15 or 20 minutes, best case. Let's go ahead and use my reading glasses to solar ignite some leaves. What we have to do is process the leaves down into particles and powder and the focal distance on these reading glasses is about that far, about two feet away. So it's going to look like through most of this video that I'm not even moving, but I'll, I'll be building up a big ember, big enough ember to where I can blow on it. And then I'll have to increase that ember and get it into some leaves to try to get some flames. Let's see how it goes. I think those oak leaves are too leathery and coarse. Let's use these tulip poplar leaves. That's got a little moisture on that side. I'll tear that off. Same thing, we want to compact them as tight as we can get them so that that ember will transfer when I blow on it. See if the tulip poplar leaves can do any better. Smoke. to stay square to the sun with my lenses. There we go, that's not down there. Let's try that now.
All right, finally. So if you really, really, really have to and all you have are leaves to work with, make sure you use a lighter, more degraded leaf than oak leaves. That tulip popper did a great job. These are 1.35 reading glasses, but it's not the power of the glasses. It's the size of the lens. If you'll think about it, there's only a certain amount of photons that can come down through this side and be concentrated into a focal point. If you had a lens like some of the glasses they sell that's only like that big, you're gonna have like half the amount of photons being concentrated down into your focal point. You're not gonna have as much heat. So it's the size of the lens that determines how good of a solar igniter it is, not the power. All right, y'all. I appreciate you joining me on this one. We'll catch you on the next one. We'll catch you on the next one.